We both work for Enphase Energy, and we're here today to talk about some of the frequently asked questions that homeowners often have when they first start looking into getting solar and maybe battery storage. Some of our customers are even selling their power back to the grid. What are the steps in the process? The industry term for that is grid services. So there are some utilities that, for various reasons, have to decommission power plants. They have to take old, inefficient, usually fossil fuel power plants offline. Now, when they do that, that leaves an opportunity and a need for additional power sources. Now, as more and more homeowners are purchasing a solar with battery backup, now you've got all these batteries that are sitting with all this energy stored in them in homes in these utility grids. And so the utilities have worked out arrangements with homeowners, usually through a third party that's the mediator or the, uh, the aggregator, as they call them. And what they do is basically communicate with the batteries of these homeowners on the behalf of the utility. And so when the utility needs that extra power during peak periods, typically in the evening, whenever everyone turns their lights on and starts cooking, then those homeowners' batteries will discharge into those homes and potentially export that power to the grid during that time. And the amazing thing about our Enphase app is that you can manage all of that straight from the app. Yep. So you can see what, you're, what money you're making, what money you're leaving to the grid, and what money you're storing. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can literally see how much power is flowing from the battery to the home and then to the grid with the app. With grid services, they pay you for that electricity, or they might just give you a rebate when you first sign up for the program that, you, that will basically go toward your battery, defray the cost a little bit, and that gives them permission to use your battery for a certain period of time. So there aren't a whole lot of grid services programs in the country yet, but there are. there is one in Arizona, there's one in the, the Northeast, there's one in Hawaii. So they are popping up little by little as more and more fossil fuel power plants are required to, to come offline. If you didn't get your question answered today, please email us at questions at We'll try to get to it next time.